Hello everyone, it's Anita White with Love Your Art. We're back again, ready to get jump right on in. What we have here today is an 18 by 24 inch canvas and we are going to do a Dutch pour on it. I have created some gray as a base and that gray is a result of the Artist Law Floor Acrylic Black along with the Artist Law Floor Acrylic White mixed with flow trawl and water and we have this beautiful gray color that we're going to use as our base so let's just go ahead and put this down and we can begin to see where we can go with it we have our blow dryer to help us try and blow out get enough of this down I hope we have enough you'll see this is our base color and we really want to try to get it all nice and even I'm going to use my spatula first just to get to out to the edges and then we'll see if we can blow over them getting oops not too much over getting our edges done and we'll blow dry inside to level it off okay touching up the sides here as we go all right let's get this down so we can get this show on the road. Take this and wipe it off. And let's see if we can blow some of this right on. Taking our finger around to ensure we don't miss any part of our coverage here. All right, looks pretty good. Looking pretty good. This is a gray base, and the last time we painted, um, the last video we had was the black and white. The black and white. Um, Dutch pour dual. I'm hoping that we can get those resin pretty soon. I'm actually in the transitional part of my life right now with renovations to my home, so I won't be able to resin them, but I will be showing those to you at the end of the video. So if you can stick around and see that, I'd love to share with you the results from that. Also, I wanna say thank you to everyone who contributed to giving me your feedback. Some of you voted. Some of you said absolutely cannot vote. I understand that. They were so amazingly wonderful. And the majority of the people 
actually came out with both, meaning that they would go with both. They couldn't pick the black over the white, but we had a tremendous amount of feedback. And I'm so thankful for all of the, all of the people who shared their feedback and participated. Thank you so much. Thank you for giving me your input, but it looks like it was basically a tie that they were both equally beautiful, equally uh, preferred. So again, we'll be doing some fun things like that. Hopefully you'll be able to participate once again and share your feedback with us because it was a really good, fun experience. So let's go ahead and pop these air bubbles. And looking for any debris that could have gotten into our paint. The biggie is to ensure that we get as much of these air bubbles popped and taken care of before we lay down our layering colors and making sure that we do everything we can to offer these colors the most flawless canvas base that we can offer. Because once the colors hit the canvas, we don't have to do much to blow them out because they just begin to speak for themselves. They tell us exactly where they want to go and what they're going to do. So we are happy to be able to help them out with giving them a flawless design. Okay, we are actually going to introduce our colors now. I'm just tapping around. It's really good. Sometimes like this is a little thicker, I can tell than this is, which means that paints can be swallowed up, colors can be swallowed up a little more in this area because there's more of the base coat there. So you want to have it as level as you can. You don't always get the feel for it when you do a blow dryer, but once you get practicing, you'll get a sense of where you need to put paint where you need to see your high and low levels. Okay, well, here we have an 18 by 24 inch canvas that we're gonna do a Dutch pour on and I have some colors that we're gonna try out and see what happens with them. So this is our permanent blue violet by Amsterdam. This is the Artist Loft Deep Green by Artist Loft, of course. I said that already. Pepeo Studio or Iridescent. And we have the Amsterdam Prussian Blue. I may throw some white into this just to lighten it up and give it some highlights and that would be the Artist Loft Full Coat White. Again, all of our colors are mixed with Floetrol and water. We have that in this squeeze bottle. So, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna see if we can torch those air bubbles up there. Sometimes they like to surface right after you torch. You gotta keep watching for them. Okay, so I'm gonna take my um, little Amsterdam permanent blue violet and whoa, we're gonna try to do a design, I think. Wow. I think we'll try to curve it in. Well, we'll see. Okay, let's try to go this way. And we'll put just a little bit here and a little bit here. Um, maybe we'll come out here as well. Okay, yeah, I, I can handle that. A little bit here and there. This purple, or actually it's a permanent blue violet, is quite beautiful on top of this gray. That in itself is a statement. Now we're gonna come in with this Artist Loft Deep Green. Again, it's really nice, rich color. And we wanna get it flowing nicely over everything. We're gonna bring in our Gold. Ooh -wee. 
This is something else. Really rich. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and put some of that white in here. Just little squeezes of it. Kind of bring out some of the lightening of the colors before we add this Amsterdam Prussian blue. Another rich, gorgeous blue. And we have some fun that we're about to start. Here we go. All right. We have our, our um, uh, I still think, even though I put purple down, this, I keep calling this purple, this is the permanent blue violet down. I'm going to try and add some more. I just adore this color and I love what it does with other colors. And we will kind of go from here with a torch. I get rid of all the air bubbles and the glaring colors. That's why we torch. Now, just so you know, in case some of you are new or maybe you haven't been watching very long, what I try to do with blowing out is to take my blow dryer pretty much center of that color, wherever that color is, just center of it and blow out so that I can get as much of that color into it. I'll blow one way and then I'll try to push out the other way. Doesn't always happen like I want it. Sometimes I push it forward and it's all together like I'm going to probably do here. But other times it's mainly trying to get to the center of the color, the layering colors and pushing out. Okay, so here we go with trying to blow out these colors. See what happens here. you can tell because when the base paint comes up and it kind of fades out those colors um, like so I mean this is a beautiful beautiful design but like in here there's more gray that's because it kind of swallowed up a little bit more base color than you probably want to see so we're going to take it for what we have it and there's always ways to modify there's nothing wrong with it. It's just a matter of helping to inform you when there's things like that that happen. I could feel that there was more base paint here and I kind of made the adjustment, but honestly, it's, it's the look that you might be liking. I'm glad I threw the white in there because you can see the white really does highlight and give it some character. Little touches of paint that's splattered over here off. Now, one other thing you can do, and I've done this before, I don't know that I'm going to do it today. For example, here you could take and put some more color in, just adding those same colors and pushing that off and over there. Um, I may do it here, I don't know. I just need to look at this because I do like all the color that seems to have blended here in the cells that are coming. This kind of faded out. It really just is a personal preference. I think the colors are just amazing together. I'm really pleased with that. Um, I'm torching because we had air bubbles with the glowing of the paint. But if you look at just the gorgeous design, there is a lot of fading out, a little bit of fading air, fading air. It really can stand to um, on its own just like this. Really soft. The gold is just 
seemingly um, correctly placed and um, I'm happy with that. Because we have such a um, amazing amount of color and paint that we had on our base, I'm going to make certain that we take our popsicle stick right away and begin to help the paint come to rest. I'm just loving this. When I look at it, I really, really love it. I love the gray base. I love the permanent blue violet on it. Just hints of that deep, um, uh, what is that color? It's deep green. Yeah, deep green throughout, really making it look for a floral type of base because it looks like there's been a leaf or something underneath there that has actually emerged, allowed these colors to emerge from it. Honestly, it is just gorgeous. I think I'm going to leave it like it is because there is just these little hints are fading in and out of color. There's color there, there's color here. I'll let you come in and see what you think. So hold on, here we come in for a close up. Here we are with the close up guys. And if you can see what I'm saying, there's that little fading in and then there's more color, rich color there. And then you can see that shimmer and shine on top. Those cells are just spectacular. Beautiful color combination together. Here's a hint of gold and white all the way out to the end there. And you can see the cells along with the shimmer on top from that Pebeo Studio iridescent gold. Look how it merges on top of there. You can see the little fading in of the color. So it's not a, like a full picture of it. It's really unique how it does that when you have more base paint in some spots than others or when it blows, it blows a little thicker. The base paint blows on top. You can see here there's a little glimpse of shimmer on top of there, right as it edges along there. Cool, look at those white cells, how well formed they are in that inside piece there. Lovely colors. I'm loving how this came out. We have one studio light on, so you can see a little glare there, but I wanted to make sure you could see this really well. So we left one studio light on, and here's how it looks all the way out to the edge. This richness of the colors, just look at that. Heavenly, just beautiful. Love that green and the permanent blue violet. Along with that, Prussian blue, that is that Prussian blue. It really did make its statement as well. It came out as well, very nicely. That Prussian blue, Amsterdam Prussian blue. Okay, here we have it. 18 by 24 inch canvas. This is a Dutch pour with, I think we use five colors total. Throwing in that little um, white by Artist Loft. All of the colors will be listed in the description box in case you miss any you missed anything. Also, by all means, I don't mind at all. Go ahead and like and subscribe. Leave us a comment. Let us know what you think. Also, give us your feedback so we can know how we can best serve you. Any suggestions on what you might like to see? I know we have lots of responses to Dutch pour. If you really want to see more Dutch pours. Please just indicate in the comment section below. Again, this is Anita White. I would love your art. And until next time, keep loving your art. Have a great day. Have a great time. Being safe. And we'll see you all on our next video upload. Thanks for joining me. Bye now. And here we have some beginnings of the dry results. Just wanted to give you an opportunity to see what we've captured so far as this particular piece is making its way to a completion in the drying process. Still wet, 
in some parts, but just wanted to capture this as much as we could as it's making its way to a complete dry. It's really luscious colors, as you can see. Came out very nicely, giving all the different um, variations of color, along with the white cells, a chance to really be highlighted. Also seeing that faded out look that I was sharing with you, it came out nice and smooth. It's just about the air in its drying parts are just coming together very nicely. I love the Amsterdam Permanent Violet Blue mixed in with this deep green, giving a nice, beautiful shimmer and shine with that iridescent um, gold. Just really pretty. So there we have the makings of the dry results. Just about in completion. Hope you like it. Thanks a lot. I just wanted to share so you can see what we're going to be doing in terms of coming to a nice full dry and hopefully afterwards a nice beautiful resin. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you again.